Hey guys, welcome to this full walkthrough for the new mini quest Marjorat Memories, which was released uh, yesterday, and uh, it's meant to be sort of a uh, taster for the new Grandmaster quest, uh, the Fate of the Gods, which is going to be released next week, I do believe. So uh, yeah, you guys can do this if you want. Apparently, it unlocks some additional dialogue and some other sort of quirks, uh, but you don't need this to do the quest next week. Anyway, uh, this mini quest is very very long. I suggest you have a lot of patience and um, set aside a lot of time to complete this mini quest because it's not a mini quest at all. It takes between six and nine hours to do uh, unless you have 7.5k memories which are vibrant or better banked in which case it takes a significantly uh, less amount of time but most people won't have won't have that so it's memories by the way not energy so it's unlikely you'll have that. So this quest can take six to nine hours. Uh, hours, and uh, yeah, the requirements for it are other quests, as are the requirements for most other quests. So you need the following quests, as you can see. You need uh, cost size troubles. You need uh, ritual of the Majra. You need Bloodburns Deep, the Fremic Trials, Glorious Memories, and sixty divination as the final sort of skill requirement for this mini quest. Now there are some other minor requirements slash recommendations. I'd recommend you have a good range of teleports available because you need to be traveling around a lot uh, in this mini quest. Actually not that much compared to how much time you spend doing divination. Um, and I also recommend you have at least one divination aura. It really helps. Basically what the aura does is, uh, well you can, there are different tiers but basically increases your chance of getting an enriched memory which will be very useful I'll come on to it later but basically enriched memories are more valuable than normal memories for this mini quest also you'll require the invitation box which you get from uh, doing a bit of missing presumed death and you'll also need the insulated boots uh, and the macaw pouch which you can just buy from the GE to kick things off, all you need to do is go to Thorvald's house, which is just northeast of the long hole in Erelica. You'll have come here to do the Kostjaist Trouble mini quest. Anyway, so yeah, you just go down the ladder and then talk to Karshai. Basically what he tells you that is that he's created a device called the Engrammeter to store the memories of uh, his Marjorat kin. Um, and he wants you to go around collecting the memories and giving it back to him. Here's the problem. Every time you want to collect a memory, you need to recharge this device, and the device needs 500 memories, uh, which are at least of a vibrant or better. So it needs 500 of those memories to be recharged, and you need to recharge it uh, every time you want to gather a memory, and you need to gather 15 memories. So yeah this is gonna take a while the easiest way to do this is to uh, go to a divination spot which is at least uh, level 60 obviously the higher the level the more XP you'll get so obviously try and go to the best divination spot you can uh, and as long as it doesn't take ages to get there because you'll need to go back and forth 15 times uh, so yeah People like to use the mobilizing army spot because it's right next to a teleport, I guess. But um, I just use the best one I can, which is the incandescent memory spot, uh, which is just south southwest of Castle Wars. Anyway, you, all you need to do is go there, gather 500 memories, and then when your inventory is full, just click on the device and it will fill it up. Um, and a little quirk that will make it go a little bit faster, I guess, is is the fact that uh, enriched memories count for two memories so uh, they obviously speed things up a lot which is why I, I uh, recommended that you guys get a divination aura because this will give you more enriched memory so yeah and your uh, divination level doesn't matter for this I mean uh, you don't get any advantage um, in terms of the speed of collecting the memories if you have a higher divination uh, level just that you'll get a bit more XP for getting those memories. Make sure not to use it on the rift by accident because <laughs> people will be used to that by now. Also they added like a right click option on the rifts which will make it faster when you do normal divination but anyway that's aside uh, that's beside the point. 
uh, that's basically all you do um, and it will take you around uh, as I said five hours just to gather these memories a bit more than five hours um, and a bit more time to actually go to the places and then get the memories so that's that's it once you get 500 memories this is what you need to do so once you've gathered 500 memories and charged up the engrammeter till it glows a uh, blue color all you need to do is go around uh, gathering the memories of each of these Mardi Rat. It doesn't matter what order you do them in, but uh, you can just click on the names on screen now to navigate to the relevant section of the guide where I'll show you how to get there and uh, yeah, basically how to gather the memories. Once you gather the memories, the, you just basically go back to Karshai and give it back to him and you get 25k Divination XP plus a memory a book which you can just destroy because you can find it in your player and house later but anyway just click on the names on screen now and uh, let's get started on this okay for this one you simply need to teleport to uh, Trollheim and walk to the northwest of it using the path I'm just showing you walk around uh, past the northeast the uh, northwest sorry uh, past the ice gate to the west of it go through the little cave entrance go through the winding ice tunnel and uh, out through the crevice I do believe as you can see and then go east from there uh, yeah I think it's east yep and uh, go through the cave entrance and then through this place and just click on the engrammeter you'll get a memory and uh, just for this one time because it's the first time I'll just show you that you need to go back to Karshai and talk to him about it before you can recharge the engrammeter again for your second of the 15 times um, and he'll give you 25k divination xp and a book which you can just destroy and read it later from your POH because otherwise it will use up uh, too much bank space when you gather all the books for Ms. Archer's memory you simply go to the Zaros altar where you swap your, swap to your cursus uh, prayer book so just use a dig site pendant I guess or uh, just go from Baroque I guess so yeah that's pretty simple for as an Andrus memory you need to go to Zaldrauched I think that's what it's called so you can just use the uh, Pharaoh's Scepter to teleport you directly there or just use a lodestone or something it's pretty simple just the place where you swap to Ancients and uh, yeah so for Jalen's memory you simply go to the place where you did the Tale, tale of the Muspar quest I do believe so just use the fairy ring code uh, DKS and uh, go through the cave don't go east like I'm doing at the moment I just love Slay too much so I automatically went to the ice strike worm place but uh, you just need to go west instead and then north a bit past the river and then uh, you'll come to the cave just cross the bridge go to the center and then use the engrammeter and you'll get the memory for Hazir's memory, you need to go to the Alduin Suez, sadly, uh, which is just southeast of the clock tower. Enter the cave um, and then use the raft, I guess, and uh, you'll basically get there. Just go there, go through a bit, and then use the engrammeter, and you'll get the memory. The best way to go here, I think, is to use the Kandarin Monastery teleport using the Alduin cloak. Next up, we have Bill Wrights, the reason we all love dungeoneering, don't we? Anyway, the easiest way to get to him is using the Ring of Kinship and just go to the Dungeoneering Lobby and then use the Engrammeter, that's it. For Zamorogal's memory, you do need to pay quite a bit of attention. So first of all, you will need the insulated boots and the McCall pouch. Go to the northwest uh, corner of the Varak Palace, go up a floor I think and then uh, talk to Hartwin. He'll teleport you to the place where you did the Defender of Varak quest. Uh, it's really important that you follow my instructions here. So uh, once you come here, you'll come to, I think it's safe worldy, so you don't need to be worried here. Uh, you just simply need to uh, go down the trapdoor, follow the path I take past the zombies. Uh, it's important to follow the path I take because otherwise you could go off course by, for example, if you remember, there are some human detection traps, uh, which, will, uh, which will obviously get you detected and beaten up and take down your LP. So... You might need some food here. So go to the end of the uh, area. You'll go to a room with a tunnel. Go through the tunnel. You'll be in a sewer with a kilowatt at the end. Uh, make sure you have your insulated boots on. Now here's where you'll need your McCall familiar uh, to help you get past the guards here. So once you get next to the tunnel at the end of this tunnel, uh, use the remote view ability of your McCall familiar. 
basically it'll tell you when the guards are looking away so you can sneak past uh, so that's exactly what your character does they wait until the guards go away and then sneak past and then uh, I was just exploring here having a bit of fun but what you need to do is just go south the room directly south of when you come here so as you can see just go to that room and then use the engrammeter and that's pretty much it try not to veer off course because it can uh, set you back a bit so just follow my instructions here to get Ralvash's memory you'll need to go to Gorok. One of the ways is to use the fairy, fairy ring DKQ to go to the Glacial Cave and then go north. Follow the path I take. Uh, incidentally this is also where you can get one of the memory. Uh, but I'll get onto that when that section comes. Uh, but yeah just follow the path, go north uh, and then you'll get to Gorok. Go past the Fallen Pillar, past the Iron Dragons which are unaggressive and there you go. That's it. Now for Lucien's memory you can simply use the DKR fairy ring code and his house is like a few steps south of it. You just go into his house and use the engrammeter or you can just teleport to Edgeville and then walk the way I showed you guys. Palkira's memory is pretty much the same as Ralvash and a bit easier. Uh, you simply do the same thing as I did before so fairy ring DKQ, Glacier Cave north of it and then uh, the ritual marker on the way to Gorok. So a bit easier, as I said, uh, the ritual marker is just northwest slightly of the cave exit, and just go to next to the ritual marker and then use the engrammeter. That is it, guys. That is it. Okay, so you can do Akthanakos and Enakra both at once. So teleport to the bandit camp, go southwest, down the secret entrance, and uh, you'll get to that temple. I don't know what it's called, but it's a temple. Don't do what I did and go back up again. But go down uh, one floor and then follow the path I take. Now, if you follow this path, uh, an Arcros fragment will be just here, just before you go to the ladder. This will be the place to get an Arcros fragment. Um, if you want to get Actanakos's fragment, follow the path I take, past the magical barrier, up the ladder to the north and south a bit to this room over here and here is his fragment so you've killed two birds with one stone i think that's a st saying so yeah now this definitely isn't the fastest way to get to ali the wisest house in nada but i just used the poly uh, home telly and then went south to the carpet and then took the carpet to nada and then from there walked to his house now I know it doesn't take too much time, but it's definitely not the quickest. If you have a Desert Amulet 2, then use it. Or some other means of getting to Nalda. Uh, there might be some other ways. But anyway, it's pretty simple. You just go to his house and then use the Enagrammeter. That's it. Now for the seductive Sliskies memory. Oops. Seductive really wasn't the right word, was it? I'm embarrassed. I'm embarrassed. But I hope Can gets this reference. Anyway, you need an invitation box for this, so just use that and then teleport to the Citadel. Um, and then you need to go into the conference room to be able to get this memory. You need to start missing presumed deaths for this. And if you lost the box, just talk to Brother Sam World south of the odd old man, east of Varrock. That's it. Okay guys, so I think this is my last one, or well, I hope it is my last one. Because I do remember that I needed, that I had for 14 done before this so I think this is my last one let's see what we get uh, we should finish it now um, let's use it here <laughs> his own memory ne right next to him and he can't be bothered to get it anyway yeah okay so we have brought every single memory back to him. Uh, just gained some insight. Most of them seem to be ancient. There's nothing about their plans. Well, that's what we find out next week, I guess. And uh, he also absorbed some powers. That's good. Okay. Are you more powerful now? Only to a minute degree. 100 years. I can't live that long. 150k divination bonus XP. Hell yes. Yes. I'm so happy. I wouldn't be so happy if I was 99 at the moment though. So yeah. Okay, so two titles, Legatus and Pontifex. And 
strange doll. Okay, so he found he, he got a ton of rewards. Uh, let's have a look at what they might be. Because, uh, okay, so I think one of them is a head item. Let's have a look. Gonna have to find it. Uh, what's it called? Not Dr. Nabanik's old trilby. Nice, nice, nice. Activate, man. Activate. Okay, after some faffing about, <laughs> I managed to find out how to get the pet. I think it's in the hero interface. And then go to the pets. Uh, Tiny Lucian. There we go. Call pet. Never used this. I never used this interface. Love. <laughs> That guy is cute. <laughs> anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this guide. Um, the rewards aren't great on the face of it, but hopefully you'll see the value of doing this next week if you're a lore lover. Now off I go to my POH to uh, read up on all the 15 different books. And uh, yeah, we got a lot of money from <laughs> gathering so many energies. But yeah, thanks for watching guys. I really hope you found it useful. And yeah, please leave a like slash comment slash subscribe if you enjoyed.